Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, we're taking our puppy Pepper to the vet in two hours. An hour and a half. And I was anxious and I couldn't sleep. So, I mean, she's fine. Don't worry. She's just being spayed. She, she's old enough now and uh, we're going to do that. But I was just laying in bed and I was, you know, mind racing as one does. And I had some ideas for a video that I wanted to try out, namely this one. Now, of course, Zeratul is one of the highest skill ceiling characters in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Very difficult to play well. Unless, of course, you go for the cleave build. The cleave, it doesn't get much easier in the cleave build, dude. You go in, you cleave. That's the cleave. I'm going to body block here so Odin can catch up. Woo! Look at that. There's like three talents in the talent tree that are just focused on cleave. Literally all you do is walk up to people and hit Q. And the more people around, the better you are at hitting Q. Not a very complicated build at all. So in, in complete opposite, I'm going to be playing a very difficult build today. Uh, the build we're going to be using has some theoretical much higher damage output than what the cleave build is able to do but it comes at a higher cost of being able to actually play the character as i'm sure many of you know sometimes i struggle to play even the most basic characters here do we just do this though <laughs> they're just fun man you just kind of dick around with them so today i'm basically what am i doing i'm going to try a really complicated build that takes a shit ton of execution on a character that i could just press q on because this is what I think about doing when I can't sleep, I guess. And the question I'm posing to you guys, when do you decide it's worth to go away from something you're comfortable with to try to do something much more complicated and not as guaranteed to give, you know, such good results as just going up to someone and press, pressing Q. There's a lot of jumping around here. We're gonna go for a psionic strength at level four. This is going to make it so every third auto attack that we do but every third auto attack that we do is a critical hit. I think, right? Isn't that how it works? Uh, dealing damage to an Oh, never mind. Never mind. Dealing damage to an enemy increases our damage. That's what we're doing. Master Warp Blade is the talent that I was thinking of. So every time we apply a little bit of damage to a target, it's going to increase the damage that we can deal to that target, stacking up to 30%. And we're going to try to jump in and combo as many abilities as we fucking can. That's our whole goal here. I can't attack her. <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, you got it right. Fuck. And that has to be a decoy. There's no way that's the real one. Okay, we're jumping out for a second. Uh, I don't really think I feel comfortable going back in. But Lunar is this far forward. ETC might join us in the fight too. Gonna jump away. Okay, he's dead. We can go sippy cup. I think they got the, the objective just now. Sergeant Hammer is still pushing the bottom lane. All right, so we kind of got beat up out of that one. We're not too worried about it. I do need to collect some more gloves. That's going to make it so we get battle momentum on our blink. So if I auto attack, we're going to be able to teleport more often. I'm just going to blink right in on Phoenix here. I assume that he's going to be able to jump away from me uh, when he teleports. I, I just imagine that removes Warple Blade. I don't know for sure. I wonder if I'm going to be blamed for her dying. <laughs> Does not remove Vorpal Blade. Beautiful. Well, Stukov's a little far up now. We could try to do some damage to him. I am going to back out for a moment. Teleporting back in. Not too much of a follow-up. We're going to keep ETC a little bit closer to that guy so I don't get thrown. <laughs> uh, that has to be a decoy, right? No, that looks like it's the real Nova. So we're going to engage on that, boys. Take that down beautiful we're gonna go for seeker in the dark wormhole is one of my favorite talents in the game i think it just allows zeratul to pop off dude wormhole just allows you to teleport and then teleport back to where you teleported from for seeker in the dark requires you to land a skill shot before you can unlock a lot of your mobility but once you do land that skill shot your potential for moving around the battlefield is pretty significantly increased so i can do this pop in with my W, so now I can actually blink away and try to body block if that's what the mood calls for. 
and I basically got into position without really worrying about using my blink to do that. And if we decided to right there, we could have re-engaged with our W, abil w ability as well. So there's actually a lot of really interesting counterplay with it, but you have to land the ability first. Oh, it does look like this fight is ongoing at the moment. Uh, we could teleport in and maybe secure that, but I don't think it's worth the risk right now. We don't have any way of actually healing our character up other than Lily. So we're going to try to stick next to her a little bit. Whoop. No, thank you. Not looking to die. That's a good position for Lunar to be in, though, pushing those guys back into their base. The objective's coming up in just eight seconds. It's going to be located at the bottom right position on the map right now. The friendly team sitting at level 10. We're going to go join them. Damage is not bad. We haven't done anything ridiculous. We still haven't gotten enough gloves. I'm still really fucking tired. But you know what? It's not going bad. It's not going bad. Uh, we do have most of the team sitting here ready to go. I shouldn't have attacked that. I could have just channeled, but I'm a bad player. Uh, we'll teleport in on this. See, I can teleport this way to block him off. And then if he got even further, there you go. He knocked me away. We can Vorpal Blade back in on that, securing the kill. That's beautiful. I, th I think that's just subjectively beautiful. Oh, we missed the singularity. We're just going to back up to our healer for a moment. This is where we get the might of the Nerezim, which allows me to reset the cooldown of my last used ability. We could choose to use this for a double blink, a double cleave, a double singularity spike, although that one is a little more niche. I fucked that up. I think I would for the double singularity spike. Uh, so I can blink in or I can use my W to initiate and then teleport into the W, get a double cleave and blink out, then re-engage with the Vorpal Blade when they don't know what's going on around them. It actually adds even more freedom of movement. Now, of course, you're giving up one of the best ultimates in the entire game, Void Prison. It's been a monster since the alpha. It's hard to deny how good it is, but of course, this is less of a team-based alt and more of a look at me, I'm playing really flashy kind of playstyle. So I don't have cleave, so I didn't want to initiate on that. Uh, this seems to be going pretty well down here. He's perfectly body blocked. Of course, with Sergeant Hammer coming in, we're a little worried. We can Vorpal Blade back in. Oh! I got him. It was a good snipe from Nova. I think that actually took me down. Or maybe it was Garrosh, I guess, landing the final blow. Oh, I was trying to dance around a little bit, but I, I, I delayed too much with using my abilities. I didn't quite have the setup I wanted on the initiate into, into Sergeant Hammer. I didn't have my cleave ready to go. I think that's what it was. So I would have just kind of initiated and stood there. Maybe that was the right thing to do because we would have applied a little bit more pressure. Once we hit 13, this is when I have a lot more staying power in fights with Mending Strike, so I'm going to be able to stick to targets a lot easier. Uh, at least that's what we are aiming for. Singularity out. We'll teleport in on that. Repeat the cleave. Jump out. Jump back in. Hey, team. Good job. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Calculated. Uh, this should be a dead Nova, too. She way overextended going in for that kill. She's going to be taken down. We'll just grab a couple regen globes, maybe get a heal from our Lily. That's, that one's not looking too likely. <laughs> uh, but we're in a pretty good position. We can go into minion waves and do the double cleave, which beats it up pretty good. If you just have a little bit of downtime where you don't think you're going to need the double assault, you know, the, the double cooldowns. Uh, we did see Stukov moving up here. He is now the Singularity Spike has landed, so we're going to teleport in on that. We don't have the... We're going to teleport here, too. We have the Vorpal Blade for when he leaves. We're in on the Vorpal Blade. Singularity Strike moving me back. I could teleport into that clone. I decided not to. We're going to wait for some cooldowns here. Nine seconds before I can reset my cools. Uh, this is Nova at the bottom of the screen. I can teleport in if I want to. Oh, that's... Oh, that was actually a very good triple tap. I couldn't get back to my team in time. That was very nicely done. Oh, she's so low on health. That's frustrating to see. Did Illidan ever come to this object? Oh, he's there now. Okay. <laughs> Lunara never showed up. 
<laughs> kind of weird to show a build off in this. We've done 30,000 damage, which is the highest in the game. I don't even feel like I'm at like a fifth of my potential with this. Like I feel like I'm, I'm really making a lot of fat finger mistakes. The hunt going off on Garrosh is going to give him a little bit of time. Does he have the evasion to deal with the Sergeant Hammer? Even if he did, evasion doesn't dodge those, those mines on the ground. We should have a pretty good engage here, I think. Um, do we need to do anything special? I think we just hop over Cleave, Cleave, Singularity on him, teleport back in, make sure we auto attack him so we can teleport later. Okay, okay, that's less than ideal. We teleport back in, dodging the stun. We're okay. Singularity spike did miss, unfortunately. Oh, stun him, dude. Oh. I mean, you get where I was going. You see, it could be a little bit better. And I don't think that a Cleave Zeratul would have been able to pull most of that off. Ooh, nice leap, but it didn't deal any damage. Now you're kind of in an awkward spot. Are you going to auto <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> Nova's right here. Be a little worried about that. Good damage. That's going to be an easy kill. All right, and with that, we get the objective. This is going to be pushing all lanes right now. We still only picked up seven region globes, so that talent really isn't doing anything for me. Sad to say. I apologize. Like I said, I'm pretty tired here. I was having a hard time clearing my thoughts, so I thought... Being a little productive and getting some work done would probably be a good idea. Also, most of our videos have been coming directly from live streams. You guys haven't had too many, too many VODs to look at, and I feel bad about that sometimes. Of course, I do hope you guys join me for viewer games every week, but with all the technical problems that we've been having, getting a stream up on the same day has proved to be too much of a fucking challenge for me. Hopefully this isn't too loud. We are we are moving kind of high up in the yellow there. Hope I don't regret moving my volume up. I did it right at the beginning of the game, so I guess we'll find out when we watch it back. Uh, the enemy team might be moving through here. We'll just kind of hang out in this bush for a moment. We see Garrosh. We see Nova. We see Lily. Okay, I'm going in here. Oh no! 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 no. All right, all right, all right, we got... No, fuck! Ugh! If only I could have double blinked, we would have been fine. Yeah, that was dangerous. Yeah, I was in stealth, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. I was just hanging out in stealth. Little smiley face. We have good intentions. Uh, let's see Nova moving in. Is that the real Nova? It seems to be once again not realizing maybe that Lunara literally just keeps revealing her every step of the way. She was taking some damage over time. She might be able to get to Stukov. I imagine Stukov was in this group. If she's alive, that means she did. So Stukov's over there with her. Okay. Uh, we do see the team starting to get some camps here. It is 17-17 as far as levels go. They are actually slightly ahead of us on XP right now. Now, uh, I'm going to move to the middle and try to clear that out. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, well, fuck, I should not have blinked in. Didn't know Hammer was there. Going to ping for some assistance here. Unfortunately, using my sippy cup already as well. Are we going to see a good power slide to initiate? No, no. But I got it. We'll duplicate the cleave. I'm not going back in on that. That seems like a disaster. Lily, however, right in the line of fire. We went in for the cleave, committed to the body block on Garrosh. We could jump back in on him now, taking him down. And this is indeed the real Nova just underneath us. She moves slightly out of range and wasn't able to pursue much further. Oh, that's her again. Woo! Oh, I missed the Vorpa Blade. Hey, come here. Just fucking kill. Oh my God! <laughs> Please! Come on! <laughs> no, it's not okay. It's not okay. She hasn't backed yet, right? She's still hanging out. You know she is. Where is she? <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. The objective was up. Illidan got it all by his lonesome because we were fighting down in the bottom lane. Hey, maybe I'll get those region globes. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. All right. We only need 15. 
<laughs> I've gotten less than one region globe a minute so far. <laughs> uh, it could be a little bit better, you know? Uh, it could be a little bit better. Uh, the team knows I'm here. We're just going to jump out of that. Did use my blink for it. The blink's a lot more valuable without wormhole. You got to think about your blink usage a lot more. Looks like Garrosh is engaging on to our Lunara momentarily. He's not going to be doing that anymore as he is taken down by the friendly team. I was going to say, at least I hope he's been taken down. We're going to jump in the way of that triple tap. I don't know if we needed to, but it seems like the good Samaritan thing to do. We're going to get Twilight Falls at level 20, which allows us to reset the cooldowns of fucking everything. So whenever we reset our abilities, it's going to reset all of our... Will you fucking heal me? Thank you. It's going to reset all of our abilities. So every 20 seconds, we can cast everything twice, dude. Which is nuts. So it allows me to blink in, set up a combo on someone, reset the combo, and blink out. If I could do it right. If we have a willing participant. Oh. Well, that was easy. That didn't count. So you can Q, hit your ultimate, which does another Q, and then that resets the cooldown of your Q and allows you to Q again. That's actually a lot of damage. And of course, very, very easy to do with the cleave build. But our main source of damage is gonna be engaging with our W and trying to get that out. Now, granted, targets are not taking more damage while our W is active against them. That is a thing, sentenced to death. I don't like that one as much. I like just jumping in and trying to get some crits off. So, boom. Oh, I blink to the minion. You see what I mean, though? Like, I'm not looking to, to stay long. I know the increased damage is probably good. I'm just trying to fucking crit someone down as fast as possible. And keep in mind, that was their tank, right? That was their fucking tank, right? Let's see what we can do to a hammer. Not bad. Not too bad. How do I get out of here, though? Okay, we have Blink. I'm going. Like, th that's pretty intimidating. That shit is pretty intimidating, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on, we can do this. Woo! Woo! I mean, I guess I shouldn't go back to the base. We're kind of pushing in for the win here. So, like I said, it's a very selfish way to play Zeratul. I, I think it's a little overly complicated, and I didn't show it off in the best way here. But as far as the skill ceiling on the character, it doesn't get much higher than this. Like, it's really, really mechanically difficult to pull off if you're doing it right. I'm gonna get out of that. ETC going in with the stage dive. I'm not really hitting the core right now. Maybe I should be. Well, they're doing great up there. I think that'll be a GG. 55,000 hero damage. I mean, not bad. I feel like I had some decent plays in there. I wouldn't say that they were the best plays. But again, I was just doing this to pose the question, get this out of my head. Hey, we got MVP. We fucking did it. I have time to knock out a few more videos before the day gets started. So I think I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, if you guys are celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you have a good one. It should be coming up pretty soon with the release of this video. So take care, everybody. Have a great day, great night. I'll see you again very soon. Guess who forgot that they're supposed to talk about talents in this video? <laughs> so, uh, the talents we use, Shadow Hunter into Psionic Strength, Seeker in the Dark, Might of the Nerezim, Mending Strikes, Master Warp Blade, and Twilight Falls. 55,000 hero damage. Okay, we're actually done now, goodbye.